War. War never changes. People talk about the great constants of life. Birth, death, today, tomorrow. These are what they call the constants of our reality. But they are wrong. They missed the greatest constant of them all. Violence, war, the burning will to survive. Nature itself is a constant battle. A fight to see the next moment, the next day. A fight where only the strong will survive. As I know far too well. Ravlox, the Battle of Major Nine. Thousands dead, under concentrated bombardment. And then there's me, little old Jessica, 18 years old. First proper battle of my life. Our position was strong, our aim was sound. But they just kept on coming. Hold the line, covering firemen, just with the lights. Good job, lads. You're not brilliant with that thing. Do my best. Down, sir! Thanks, Trix. How's the defence, Commander? That's it, but, but hold it. No, 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 what the hell is happening, Roberts? We've been hit, ma'am. On an energy blast. What type? No idea, but it's caused havoc with the systems. You're on your way to the weapons tank when it struck. Must have knocked you out. Oh, crap! Shield failure! Move, goddammit! We need to restore power! Come on! Greeting, Captain. Status report, Tom Lee. What the hell is going on? Unknown energy blast. Impacted our ship and about five others by the look of it. Shield integrity down to 33%. Unable to scan for numbers, Major. Subsystem power minimal. A sizable force can do that. They're making short work of our brothers. Focus on us right now. Why have we lost power? I'm not sure. Systems are fried. Even rerouting supply power won't work. Too powerful for an ion blast. Like this before. I know, that's what I've just tried. We can't afford any more hits like that, David. I have an idea. What kind of idea? Bloody stupid one. Hold on tight. Warning. Gravitational drive disabled. Ship now entering the... Oh, what the hell have you done? You'll get us all... Killed? I know. This way, we're not just sitting ducks, are we? We have a chance. At what? Crashing? The planetary shield? We should be small enough that we avoid most of its resistance. Residual shield power should dampen the impact. Worth a shot anyway. Now shut up, I'm concentrating. Impact? I said shut it. God help us. God help Warning. us all. Atmospheric collision imminent. Adjust cause of action. Warning. Atmospheric collision imminent. Adjust the course of action. Warning. Atmospheric collision imminent. Adjust the course of action. Warning. Atmospheric collision imminent. Adjust the course of action.
so? Inside is held in another dimension. Earth does Eisler. Time Lord Science found a way to hold the bigger dimension inside the smaller one. Therefore, it's bigger on the inside. Pass me the spanner, please. Thank you. Cool. Here you go. I, I still don't get it. So it's basically squashed inside. That's sort of. Oh, how can I put it? Imagine you have two boxes. One big, one small. You place them next to each other. Which one's bigger? The big one, obviously. Correct. Now imagine you bring the smaller box closer to your eye. Which one's bigger now? Still, the big oh, one. Not exactly from your point of view. Now if you kept the big one that far away and brought the smaller one closer to your eye, from your perspective the big one would fit inside the small one, wouldn't it? That's impossible though, surely? You're standing inside proof of that science. Need I say more? That, my friend, is called transdimensional engineering. It's a key Time Lord discovery, in fact. Time Lord, you said that when we first met. Take it as your species. Ah, correct. Although, it's more of a rank thing, really. Be a bit of a snotty name for a species, wouldn't it? Although, <laughs> that would fit them pretty well. You think your planet's politics can be petty, you have no idea. Very fancy, my lord. Glad you know your etiquette. Anyway, what are you doing? You've been under the console for ages. I've had quicker MOTs in there. Oh, something very important, Neutron Man. Thank you. So, you sure you couldn't do this when we were stationary now? Make it a little easier? I need to see how the temporal oscillators act in flight. That's when they're being misbehaving. Otherwise, we'd just keep dropping out to the vortex. We can't have that. That's how we ended up crashing into that big fella's ship. You know, the one with the fur? Ah, the Baron of the Solus. Wolf looking fella. Oh, indeed. He wasn't too pleased about it either. Explains the blaster fire. I just thought that was your driving, to be honest. You know, give him the case of Red Rage. Well, in this case, Space Rage. <laughs> my driving? I'll have you know, my piloting skills are perfectly fine. I um, passed my navigation test. My temporal one, eventually. Yeah, okay. That's why we had an entire fleet chasing us then. What did I say? Oscillators. How's the console looking anyway? Anything out of the ordinary? Looks as normal as it always does, to be fair. Just a mass of buttons and levers. What's with the wood, by the way? Seems a bit strange to find in a time machine. James, you're standing in a trans-dimensional vessel, held inside its own dimension. And you find wood panelling strange. Fair point. Doctor, is that normal? Is what normal? Your display's going mental, keeps flashing symbols. What language is that? That's old I Gallifreyan, language of the Time Lord. Don't worry, she does that. The blue switch near the monitor, that flashing one there, uh, press it will ya. I need to access the gyroscopic databanks for this bit. Doing it. What's a temporal, a temporal blast? Bl <laughs> what the hell did you press, James? What you said. Hold on to something! What's happening, Doctor? It's a sudden loss of power. Directional controls are down. We're gonna fall out of the vortex. Well, fix it then. I'm trying. Should be able to scrounge up some scraps of power from the depths. Come on. There we go. Oh, for God's sake. What now? Directional controls should give us some leeway. Now place yourself. Falling back into real space at quite the speed. Here we go. There's never a dull moment with you, is there? Oh, never. How are you? Nothing broken, although maybe my dignity. Ugh. What is that stuff? Oil. Sorry about that. Must have spilled in the crash. It'll come out. Don't worry. <laughs> uh. I'll hold you to that. What state are we in? As in condition? Not the actual states, just to be clear. Although, that is a possibility. Scanners are down. No location, atmospheric conditions. Nothing. No data of any kind. Just one message. No power. Hmm. Can't you recharge or refuel or something? Well, that's what I'm doing. Open up the engines, soak up the local natural energy, and there we go. Ooh. How long do you reckon it's going to take? By the looks of it, at least three. Huh. Four hours? A bit quick for a refuel. 
must have landed in some sort of temporal hotspot. I wonder which one. Oh, hang on, where are you off to? Checking out where we are. But I'm just standing around. Well, just be careful. We could have landed anywhere. We have no atmospheric conditions. It could not be believable. It could be toxic. It could it's be... It's snowing. Snowing? Bit of an understatement. Looks more like a blizzard. Better get your coats then. The blue one? Yeah, sure. Oh, and the brown one as well, will you please? The overcoat looking one? That's the one. Didn't your parents tell you? Always wrap up when there's snow. Okay, mother. Yeah, yeah. Come on then. Once more onto the beach. Damn. It's cold. So, you're telling me you did the three peaks? Get a bit of cold bothers you. Or not, even at the top of the peaks, it wasn't this cold. Well, one thing we both can agree on is that we've landed in quite the storm, eh? Wherever we are. I can't see bugger at all. Wait a sec, what's this? And it appears we may have stumbled upon something already. Some form of sign that reads Highway 12. That suggests a motorway, wouldn't you agree? What's it say here? Spaceport Delta off exit 14. Spaceport. Well, that suggests basic space travel capabilities at the very least. Interesting. You'd think they'd have better weather. Doesn't look like the ideal conditions. They can still fly at the mere mention of snow back home. Hmm, good point. They usually do with these sort of civilizations. It's very important for the space travel. That suggests to me a lack of atmospheric controls. Either that or we've landed in some sort of early civilization, a backwater of sorts. I need to know more before I can identify it, however. What the hell was that? <sighs> Sonic boom. Something's broken the sound barrier. And it appears to be coming in at quite the speed. James, down! Jesus, did you see that? Seems to have cleared some of the snow, at least. Good. That looked to me like some form of landing party. If that's the case, there may still be survivors. Come on, James. Right behind you. <coughs> Exit's clear. Get out, boys. Go. Those fumes are toxic. Roberts, take some of the walking wounded and keep watch. This is enemy territory. I need some help here, Captain. It's Tomlin. Come in. Damn, Tomlin, quite the state. Over here, by the rubble. Unknown humanoids, 12 o'clock. Halt! Stay still, I'll be shot dead. Whoa, don't shoot, we're peaceful. We've come to help. Only here to help. We saw your crash. Ma'am. Whoever you are, I'm the leader here. Who are you? Well, well, you can call us friends, my dear. We saw the impact of your vessel. Approach with your hands up. That is um, understood, my uh, dear friend. Um, don't worry, we're unarmed. We never carry weapons. Always getting shot at, aren't we? I'd class it as an occupational hazard, but more on that later. Now, who are you? What do you want? Well, I'm referred to as the Doctor. This dear fellow is called James. We are travellers. We travel the universe in search of wonder, joy, and just basically anything fun. Um, we arrived here just before you did, my dear, I'm afraid. We crashed too. How much of a coincidence? Obviously, with not as much of a <clears throat> entrance as you young fellows did. It's true, boy. It is. True, this boy has a name, you know. You can have a label for all I care. Whilst you're in our presence, you're a security risk, one we can't afford. You could be duplicates for all we know. Duplicates? No, 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 we are nothing of the sort. Um, I have proof in my, um, coat, if I may. Go ahead. Slowly. Well, I hope that clears this all up. It's blank. Oh, they're including psychic training now in the training procedures for planet Earth. Oh. Now I know what needs to be done. I'll be quick. No, 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 just stop and think, madam. Stop and think! Incoming hostiles! Hit the deck! Return fire! Firing pattern nine! Hold the Everyone button. down! If you have a dart. Make yourself useful and help move the pilot. He's in the open. Back to work. Like a trooper, my friend. Come on, with me. You there! Shut up and give me his arm! Get behind that rubble. What happened to him? He's our pilot. He was at the centre of the blast. He's in a bad state. He appears to be bleeding. Chest wound. You there! 
Use this to stop the bleeding. Oh, the chief is hardly gonna... It's clean, trust me. Now get to it. Now, if you'll excuse me for a second, I just want to have a look at what's attacking us. What the hell hit him? Classic blunt trauma. It was nasty. It's what you'd expect with a crash like this. Now, I'm sorry, but I'm needed elsewhere. What are you doing? I'm trying to get a sneaky look at what's trying to kill us. <sighs> Tall, clad in black, humanoid looking. <sighs> Looks like a general humanoid to me. One of them's just suffered a direct blast here, and yet he's still moving. Could a human do that? Nothing human about them anymore. What do you mean? It, it, it doesn't matter. Don't be stupid, man. Anything could matter. What do you mean, not anymore? What the hell? Lads, stop shooting. Repeat again, Mom. Cease firing. Something's not right. What are they doing? That's the thing. They're doing nothing. They're just standing there. Can't be. They're just standing there. In the open. Oh, I know. Why are they doing that? Doesn't make the slightest bit of sense. You really don't know what they are, do you? What are they doing? Look in, Mom! Picking up something different. Identifying it. It seems to be. Ah! I recognize that sound. Dalek, fire! All resistance will be exterminated! Advance! Advance! Destroy! What the hell is that? What? What's a Dalek? It's a Dalek, and that means there's a lot of trouble. Come on, James, we need to move. We all need to move. We stand no chance against the Dalek. I can't leave the captain. He's beyond our help now. Just come on and move. We can't just leave him, Doctor. James, shut up and listen to me. If that Dalek gets the chance, it will slaughter every single one of us without giving a second thought. Because that's its purpose in life, to exterminate. But the captain, he's gone. Listen to me, my friend. Don't let him die for nothing. We need to move. I'm not the one giving the orders. Exterminate. Then there's no point me talking to you anymore, if you'll excuse me. Oi, Captain Lady, listen to me. We need to move. We can't stay here. I'm not running away from a Dalek. Oh, the military. Think of it as more of a tactical retreat, then. You can't fight when you're dead, can you? Damn it! God damn it, lady. For God's sake, listen to me. Put your pride aside and put these men first. Don't sacrifice them needlessly. Live to fight another day, please. Fall back. Fall back. Firing pattern three. Cover the retreat. Exterminate! Humans are fleeing. Seek, locate, and exterminate. Weather conditions deteriorating. Adapt strategy. Seek, locate, destroy. Oh, we need to get out of here, my boy. It's a Dalek. I've met them before. They're born killing machines. Their whole purpose is to destroy and exterminate any other life forms. And that's including us right now. Sooner or later, one of those blasts is going to hit us. And when it does, we'll be dead as the snow on this floor. Doctor, I think I see. I think I see it too, my boy. Captain! Captain, is that you? It's the it Doctor! Is. Come on, move. It's suicide. Come on, this way. Where are you taking us? Somewhere else. Reform and destroy that duck. Duck! They're breaking through. Come on! How did you kill him so Struck easily? Not even a Roboman could survive that. I was a Roboman. The Daleks stopped using Robomen years ago. Not here they haven't. Now run. Dalek, Commander, two Robomen patrols. Intercept escaping humanoids at designated coordinates. Destroy them. Exterminate on site. Destroy them all. Oh God, Jessica, Robo Man! Evasive maneuvers. And oh, we're trapped again. Uh, Jessica, it's a locked subway tunnel. <laughs> well, I, I was I supposed to know. Um, get your head down, all of you. You're gonna Brilliant. get shot. We're cornered. Well, at least we're not dead. That would be if we were still up there in that hellfire. Now, shush. 
You go do your job, and I'll focus on mine. Get on with it. Chris, Stephen, make yourself useful and take arms. We need as much firepower as we can get. As you say. Concentrate fire. Give them hell. Reform. Three second burst. Any luck? It's getting pretty hectic. Oh, really? I don't know. T- oh, God's sake. Do you have any better ideas? I do, in fact. Excuse me. What the hell are you doing? Improvising. Oh, well, well, that's one way to do it. Down! Now, everybody, inside, now! Target! Target! It's coming! Close it! Field commander, R3, 2, Central Command. Humanoid intruders have entered local subway system. Understood! Direct will be sent to assist! No, they will not. The subway system is compromised. Do not question! We will be stationed at all possible paths the intruders could take. They will be surrounded. Field reports indicate increased levels of combat efficiency. Robomen may not prove effective. Not question the wisdom of the Oracle, my brother. I obey. Continue pursuit of the humanoids. Robomen will be dispatched to intercept. I obey. It is about to occur. I feel it. Incoming transmission from the anomaly chamber. Your Guidance is required. Screen. Oracle. Your counsel is required. Proceed. Data has been collected from the firing of the anomaly generator. Guidance for implement of temporal stabilization is requested. Request accepted. Prepare for my arrival. We obey! Concentrate fire on their starboard hull. Hammer away that ship. Understood, Admiral. Weapons Battery 12. Aim at Dalek Cruiser. Prepare to fire. Fire! Battle Cruiser destroyed, Admiral. Excellent work, Officer Kyle. Keep this up and we may survive this day after all. Hello, Admiral Richardson. Commander Melrose. Nice to see you. Likewise, Admiral. Um, a moment of your time, perhaps? Um, it's uh, regarding the warriors. Of course. Carl, follow standard procedure until I get back. Won't be long. Understood, sir. Any word from them? Nothing, sir, I'm afraid. Damn it, Jessica. The thing is, scanning arrives indicate the indomitable survived entry into upper atmosphere of the planet, so if that is the case... They may have made landfall. Precisely. I pray you're right, Melrose. If not, well... I fear we may yet regret fighting this war after all. How long have we been walking for? Feels like miles. Wait, about 12 by my reckoning. This doctor thinks he's a tracker, Jess. What? Ah, uh, no, 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 not a tracker. It's just, um, simple maths, really. Number of steps, elapsed time, put them together, you get the distance travelled. I need a breather. Think we've shook them off, Doctor. Well, Daleks are blighters to evade, my boy. If there's one thing I will give them, it's that they're very thorough. <laughs> if it wasn't for all the genocidal tendencies, they would make excellent workers. But I suppose a few minutes wouldn't hurt. I am getting a bit tired. Um, well, uh, Jessica, that's your name, isn't it? Um, what do you say to this? Uh, the little, um, the little youth down here wants uh, what they would call a breather. Um, do you think that'd be all right? Check your corners. Once clear, quick rest. Then we continue with the plan. Clear! Clear! Redford? Redford! Yes. Yes, it is. Come on, man. We can't afford daydreaming. He's just watched the man die. Have a bit of sympathy. As have all of us. Sympathy gets you killed. We're the warriors of man. We cry later. No, Jessica. It keeps you human. Don't let them take that from you. That's the one thing you can keep that they never have. You don't understand. I've been fighting this war since I was a teenager. War does things to you. What? That it turns you into a monster? Ashamed to look in the mirror because of the person you've become? Huh? Trust me, Captain. I understand. More than you will ever know. 
You speak words only a doctor of war would speak. Maybe you're more than I took you for, doctor. And maybe you're more than I took you for. You have my help. Trust me. If there's anybody the Daleks fear, it's me. <laughs> maybe if we make it out of this alive, doctor, I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute, that's all well and good, but don't forget about James, my young fellow. We come as a pair. I'll warn you, I'm no lightweight. Of course. <laughs> I'd rather be shot by a Dalek than be known as a cheapskate. Jessica Peterson looks after her friends. <laughs> uh, Peterson? <laughs> Jessica Peterson, that's you? Yes. Y you're Jessica Peterson? There's a problem? The Jessica Peterson. We are a legend in the Dalek Wars. A legend? She's a hunter, James. One legendary amongst the stars. But not of elk, not of deer, not of rabbits. Her plays much more tough. She's a Dalek hunter. You're the leader of the Warriors of Man, Earth's finest and first line of attack against the Dalek Empire. I thought it was just an expression that you picked up from your youth when you said that we are the Warriors. But no, it's true, it's more than just an expression. You are the warriors. You, Jessica, live to rid the universe of Daleks. Correct, Doctor. Not a legend, just a woman with a gun and a serious hatred of the Daleks. A whole lifetime spent fighting, consumed by war. You're only 26 and you're a legend. Imagine what you'll do by the time you reach my age. Indeed, Doctor, I've lost an awful lot because of the Daleks. Now I suggest you get some rest. Got a long day ahead of us. Indeed. Of course we have a long day. Hey, what's up? Um, I don't know what you mean, James. I'm just examining this wire. Really. Don't lie to me. I saw your face back there. Uh, I, I don't know what you mean, James. My, my face always looks like this. Drop it. Doctor. You're not going to let this go, are you? Not until you tell me, no. Very well. The Warriors of Man. Jessica Peterson. I'd heard those names before. You said legend among the stars. Yes, she is. Or will be, judging by how far we are into events. One of the most feared Dalek hunters ever to grace the human alliance. Well, isn't that a good thing? Surely she's better to have on our side. Doctor, you look scared. We met her in a ship that was on fire. Crashed to the planet, didn't we? The Indomitable, that will be. Yeah. Where is this going? Because that means the planet we are on is Sailor's World at the dawn of the 24th century. And? Because in under 12 hours, Jessica Peterson will be responsible for an event that leads to the deaths and the evisceration of everything and everybody within this local solar system. Everyone. Oh, God. Everyone? Yes. Every. Single. But why? Why would you do this? No one ever knows. History never knows. Anybody who did know died in the inferno. The war is a man. That last ever mission is the total evisceration of Earth's closest solar system. Total waste of life. You must stop them. Don't you dare, James. I'm warning you. Why not? Because this event is fixed. Changing it will shatter time. This travesty leads to the destruction of the Daleks' main battle fleet in this sector, which eventually becomes a major turning point in the war leading to the Earth Alliance's victory and the restoration of peace for centuries untold. Touching this event is like stepping on tempered glass. If you do, it just all shatters. So, you listen to me and don't say a word. Orbital Attack Squadron, report status of planetary defences! Flagship Delta has sustained heavy damage, result of multiple successful Alliance attack runs. Report status of Alliance invasion fleet! The ALS victory and all power one were exterminated! Multiple troop carriers have broken through planetary shielding. We 
Energy blaster! All major systems offline! Shields are compromised! We're sitting ducks, sir! I hope you know what you're doing, Jessica. Doctor, can I ask you something? You are the arm, my boy. Continue anyway. Jessica Peterson, who is she? You already know who she is, my boy. Why ask again? Who is she? Why does she? Kill Daleks? Fight them every day of my life? If you want to know, you could just ask. Oh, I'm, uh, sorry. Didn't mean to be rude. You want to know what makes me do it? Makes me live to kill them. Well, it's a long story. One that I'm not in the mood to tell. You were only a child, weren't you? <gasps> what?! A mere 16 years of age when you first saw them. When you first saw them, the Daleks. Very wise. What else do you know about me, Doctor? I know what they took from you. I know what they stole. And trust me, I can understand your hatred. Whoa. What the hell was that? I don't know, maybe some kind of weapon that's definitely not good. Whoa! <laughs> Run, everybody! Run! Follow me. Should be an exit somewhere close. Keep an eye out for... Ow! Oh, Where's time? What are these robo men? Surgically altered slaves. Once like you and me with a mind of our own, but the Dalek captured them, and then, well, they surgically altered them, and now they're more like a walk in the bottom me. So this one can kill. Ah, great. We're caught in a collapsing tunnel, being shot at by people that don't care about being crushed to death. Oh, joy. Jessica! Sorry about this, but we need to move, as in now! This tunnel's collapsing in on itself, and it won't be long before we're trapped in it! I know, we're pinned down! Well, do what you do best and improvise! Use that mind of yours! Come on, show us what you've got! Joel, fire heavy weapons at that platform, take it down! On it, ma'am! <laughs> Joel! Damn it! The roof! Everybody run! Run! Out now, come on! Ow! Oh, is everybody alright? Tell you one thing, there's no going back in there, that's for sure. We left Joel in there. How could you do that? The roof was collapsing. We had no choice. Well, I could have at least tried. And get us all killed in the process? I'm not willing to do that. We've never had a problem with it before. Say that again, soldier. You know what? Maybe we're dying in vain. Maybe bowing to the Daleks wouldn't be too bad. I mean, with leaders like you, is there much difference? Enough! Enough! <sighs> What the hell are you two doing? You're from the warriors of man, not bickering children! Just calm down. We can't afford to tear each other apart. I said calm! Gentlemen! Right, now, we need to assess our situation. We can't stay here long. The Daleks are persistent. I will give them that, as I've said before. We need to move. Agreed. We've come this far. We need to complete the primary objective. Oh yes, the primary objective. Of course. Now, where would that be again? None of your business. Geo scanner suggests we're getting close. Not long now to the Citadel. And I assume, ladies, well, lady, singular, and gentlemen, that that is our destination. Very astute. Now shut up and stay on guard. We're in the hornet's nest now. Doctor, I'm not too sure about this. Whatever it is, it ends badly, James. Stay close, my friend. This is getting very dangerous. There it is, our destination. Ah, so this is the Citadel, hey? It's very impressive, Jessica. For architecture during this time zone. You see the four spires, James? They're atmospheric controls. They're supposed to control the skies and the weather. Well, key word being supposed to. Why aren't they online? Because it makes our jobs harder. Sailor's World got its name from the storms it suffer. Hard to fight when you freeze it. Daleks aren't the type that need to wrap up either. That's why you're here then, to turn them back online and make the trip safe for your troops. I'm here to destroy it. What? The generator for that system sits directly in the command centre of Dalek operations. If that system goes critical... It explodes. ...and takes the command centre with it. You do know that. No, no, no it isn't. It's going to be a massive explosion, mind you, but... not a planet-smashing one. Planet-smashing? 
You think we're here to destroy the planet? <laughs> Why would we do that? This is my home. To destroy the Daleks? Then they're in battle fleets. And destroy the planet to do it? No. Never. That's a Dalek strategy. Oh, okay, sorry. I didn't mean to. Never mind. We have work to do. You all see our destination. Question is, Seismic how to get into it? Entrances are guarded. Sewer systems used as vents. Sector. Earthquake! What? Well, the earthquake from earlier, remember, in, in the tunnel? Anyway, well, if that citadel over there took nearly half the amount of damage that that subway tunnel did... We may have a way in. Precisely, my dear. You're good. Now, I'm willing to bet the Dalek Central Command may not have noticed the occasional crack or two in the walls, given the, well, ongoing conflict. Understood. Lads, prepare yourself. Time to move. Now, humanoids detected. Understood. Any sightings reported on Dalek Pathweb negative. Wait, wait, alert, alert, slaves have initiated hostile action in Labour Camp 12. Understood, any resistance must be crushed. Seek, locate, exterminate, seek, locate, destroy, seek, locate, Daleks. Always the same, always crushing lives and souls wherever they go. Wonder whether they've ever got bored of yelling exterminate all the time. Trust me, tedium is the least of their worries. I think the coast is clear. We have little respite before their next patrol, so we best make moves. Ready, lads? Now! Ah, here we are. You lot, use all that um, muscle of yours and open that breach, please. I'm an old man. You heard that, lads. Get that breach open. Once we're in, then we find the controls to this weather spiral thing. Precisely. Then we blow it to hell. Better hope we don't get caught, then. That's the idea. If we're caught, however, the plan's still on. We blow it no matter what. I'm hoping to actually settle down one day. Preferably not to die here. We're nearly through, Jessica. Great. Wait, what's that? We both know what that is. Get moving, now! Hurry up, they're just around the corner. Now lads, through the gap now. I can breathe now. Damn, that was close. As I've said before, it's an occupational hazard, Mr. Locke. Get used to it. <sighs> now, let's see where we are. It looks like a guest suite. Once beautiful and ornate, now nothing but bad memories and faded dreams. Doesn't that just sum them up perfectly? This has gone on too long. Let's find that generator. You first, young lady. Very kind. Clear. Steve, check the rear. Clear. Formation 612. No surprises. Cover all attack points. Not far now. Found something, men. Encrypted. Damn. On it. Intro dash. You will be destroyed. Alert! Alert! Intrusion Get that door open, Chris. Steve, find cover. We've got company. The trap, Doctor. Uh, stop moaning and get out of the way. Let me have a look at the lock, Mr. Lock. They're still coming. Whoa, I don't think so. Just like old times, eh, Steve? That is it. We survived Major 9. We'll survive this. Maybe we'll finally have that drink, eh? Ah, you wish, Miles. It's almost done. Almost done. Dalek! Get that door open! No! Steven! No! It's open! In! No! No, no, where are you? Stephen. They killed him. They killed him! They killed him! Not another one! 
There's nothing you can do now. Hold it together. Don't you talk to me! What are you doing? I'm trying to locate those generators, Mr. Locke. In case you haven't noticed, these is just a control panel. Use it to overload it, then. Oh, yes, of course. Silly me. Because anybody knows the Daleks, the masters of tyranny, were just building a big, round, red, handy-dandy, self-destruct button into the console of their main power supply for any intruders that wish to have an easier time. Don't be an idiot, boy! What are we doing, then? This is a control terminal. Logically, it links directly into the control matrix of the generators it controls. Hence, I'm betting they're nearby. Bye. Might be able to trace the power flow back to its source if I pick up the next line. Makes sense. That door's not gonna last long, Doctor. I know, Mr. Locke, I know. What do we have here? Access controls. <laughs> Bingo! And, um, that's our cue. Well, go on then. Get in. So we're just going to take the lift down to God knows where? Well, it is possible, and within your rights, to stay up here and have a chat with our nearby pursuers. But, for the interests of your continued existence, I would recommend shutting the hell up and getting in the elevator. Ready to go? And say always, well, no time like the present. Oh. Here we are. Oi, Jessica. Over here. There you go, my dear. That's the power trace that we followed to get down here. Lead the way. Silver corridors. Surprisingly well kept. Doesn't look like the typical Dalek architecture. That's because it's not typical Dalek architecture. It's the exact opposite. Look at the handles on the doors. Daleks don't use handles. They can't. So, this suggests that this place is humanoid in origin. What is this place? Not too sure. Some kind of secret facility located underground. Oh, how curious. Whatever it is, it will have to wait till later. We need to find that generator. Come on. Follow me. The power trace is close. Trace is coming from in here. Dark, isn't it? I can't see anything. Well then, here we go. Once more, onto the beach, my friends. Well, not completely dark. It's pulsing. Is that...? No. No, why would that be here? Doctor, what is it? That is a temporal fissure. Correct! Do not move, all of you. You are surrounded. You, no one known as a Jessica. Put down your weapon. I said this your intent. Jessica, gun on the floor. Now. Why now? I said put the gun on the floor! Done. You are wise to listen to your doctor. Have we met? I don't seem to recall it, and I would definitely remember you. You're very different. No, not in this form. Blue and gold. Oh, now I know who you are, but you're all supposed to be dead. I thought I wiped you from the face of existence. It seems not. It seems the Eternity Circle survives in some form. Eternity Circle? Hmm. A collective of Daleks, assembled during the last Great Time War with one purpose, just one. To figure out ways to use time itself as a weapon. <laughs> And what, pray tell, are you, my friend? I am the Oracle of the Void. I am connected to time itself. I have witnessed the rise and fall of the times. I was there at our birth. I am sure our part of the universe has felt no one all of time. Very grandiose, my murderous friend. Now what, eh? What are you gonna do with us, us murderers? Now you will bear witness to the test of our latest weapon, Dalek Hunter. Jessica, no! James! 